Hi everybody, Divine Artway here, my name is Mary and today I would like to show you how to make this beautiful cloisonne enamel cross. I'm starting with drawing. This is the 22 gauge sterling silver sheet from Rio Grande. I have two sides of silver stripes. One is a little short and one is a little long. So I'm gonna use long one because I can always make it shorter so I'll be safe. <laughs> to make a copy from paper to sheet, I'm using carbon paper. I cut it out the paper, cut it out also the edges because I don't want to waste the silver. So here I just simply press the paper to make a copy from paper to silver sheet. Okay, this is what I got. I hope you can see clearly. There we go. Okay, now it's time to cut out the shape. I'm using cut loop to it's gonna help to cut out easily. Simply just apply the saw and starting to cut it out. There we go. Starting to cut it out the, the shape. Okay, this is the main shape of the cross. Now I'm going to engrave in the surface of the shape of the silver which is a little hard but if I'm not going to engrave in the surface the animal can't hold it I mean the sheet can't hold the animal as you can see this is a little bit bent it's, I'm trying to fix it we can use even just fingers to give it a shape which we want this is fire for cloisonne animal the silver wire which is just the color is like as you can see it's not silver color over the time it changed the color but as I hit it just a little bit the color will be back this is 100% silver I'm so sure of it as you can see all stripes change the colors but it's totally totally fine Okay, I'm warming up the stripes just a little, little bit. If you do this too much, just the stripe is so thin and it's going to melt. So be careful with that. Give it back the nice color what it should be. I want crucifixion inside the cross. So now I'm gonna show you how can I make crucifixion out of the stripes I need two jewelry tweezers so I'm holding the corner with one tweezer and follow the patterns with the other one okay now we have the main shape but I need inside some some stripes also and let me do it okay we have totally the same uh, stripes what we have on the paper so now it's time to starting with animal we've done with cloisonne okay this is the uh, silver sheet this is so thin why i need that it gives shining to our cloisonne enamel this is clear enamel you can get enamel website as you can see it looks like light blue but it's not it's totally clear 
first of all we need to attach a thin silver plate to our form our cross let's apply a thin layer of our clear enamel it's not going to be thick it should be quite thin okay place over the silver sheet make sure you your silver sheet covers all the all the shape okay i'm cutting because i don't want to waste i'm hating wasting and i'm sorry for the shooting because i forgot to take a look on the camera okay now i'm going to warm this up it should be melt inside to stick the silver sheet after heating the shape got little like breakdown and i'm trying to make it smooth and fix it okay i'm applying again the clear enamel everywhere and let's arrange our closing a wires on the surface of our form okay i need also extra wires and i'm going to um, write jesus of nazareth king of the jews it's going to be four letters i n r i there we go it's ready and i'm going to make a beautiful curves to make place over everywhere because when you leave empty space it's getting cracked so the wires are holding the animals it's gonna protect animal from cracks so i have to fill all the safe all the empty places there we go this is the as you can see i put everywhere the extra cloisonnés extra wires to avoid a cracks okay first i have to i have to stick all the wires where i want i'm fixing with the little jewelry sticks or whatever it's called i'm using it because when it's melting maybe some wires getting moved which is uh, broken the shapes which i want to get it so this is the easy way to get the wires where you want fix it to stick it there we go this is done and now i'm i'm gonna just wait before it's getting cold down they are three colors as you can see black dark blue and dark green this is not actually green this is like this is shabiamon color i don't know if i'm pronounced right but okay uh, the animal colors powder should be a little wet to use easily and correctly because we can't use when it's totally dry put the colors where we want let's fill all the empty spaces as much as possible and first let's dry our wet powder and then we are ready to bake it okay this is my kiln and the degrees should be 1450 to melt the powder you have to wait before the animal getting totally dry because if you put inside when it's wet it's going to be explore and the colors will mix it up to each other and which this is not our purpose right so it's baking it's melting after one minute it should be ready i have window and you know it's easy to see as you can see this is totally melt this is re red so through the window you you can 
easily see if it's melted or not otherwise if you don't have um, window you can just count one minute as you can see this is already beautiful I just love it so I'm waiting while it's getting cool we are adding colors we are adding animals as many times as needed we have to fill them fill all the buyers full let's place our cross upside down to fill the back with powder of any any color we can use any color why backwards to avoid dripping of the animal put our cross on mica sheet mica sheet is which people are using using for microwave so you can google and and find what it is why we are doing this because to avoid any cracks as you know cloisonne animal jewelry lasts for centuries not one or five but many many centuries and if it's not technologically preset correctly it's it will crumble it will crack and you know disappear in a few years because it's getting some cracks if if it's not the technologically processed correctly okay so then i'm um, just fill them up all the way everywhere up face and down face you have to fill them up fully i'm drying it with paper which is not good idea so don't do that <laughs> so beautiful already I'm trying to remove all the excess which we don't need it now time for polishing for you I'm, I'm using polishing papers people call also uh, scent paper sheets I'm using few ones, different numbers. The first number is going to be 180, second is 400, third is um, 600, then 800, then uh, 1200, uh, 15 hundred and the last one is going to be 20 hundred okay after polishing we got little tiny bubbles inside which we have to fill them up with the animal powder and then again melt then again um, using the sandpaper to to uh, polish until we get what we want it should be smooth and the surface should be straight we don't need any bubbles any cracks nothing at all there we go this is our added powders animals now it's time to bake again and then as i told you we have to polish them again i think this is the last accord okay now it's time to make a bezel okay make a bezel using the same saw cut the bezel we need stripe we are using bezel stripes over here remember never make it exact long because when silver is getting hot it's gonna be shorter so take the bezel stripes a little longer just so if we have extra edges or something we don't like it just we can simply use the file now i'm making holder for the bezel 
where we have to put later the chain there we go it's going to be like this I'm using for soldering powder or paste whatever it's called it's called handy flux I'm gonna apply over the basil and over the basil stripe to soldering it helps silver or another metal to solder I always use for soldering um, medium sometimes even little low soldering because it's easy to solder okay basil stripe is ready as you can see I place all over the stripes on the basil let's place all the soldering materials around the edges of the basil stripe and just simply heat it until the soldering melt and we have to press down the basil stripes to connect to the surface there we go it's ready now i have to remove all the excess the, okay this is our beautiful uh, basil i'm gonna use any kind of super glue and two teeth thread to you know sometimes it's getting stuck and i don't want to make some damage as you can see basil is a little small or you know it's not easily getting so what i'm gonna do is make wider the edges just a little bit to place the cross inside easily don't forget the threads because it's it's helping a lot and just simply press everywhere okay i'm using Javeler tool and pressing the stripes so gentle i'm sorry for the shoots because okay there we go now i'm gonna remove as you can see this is a little bigger as you can see here in the edges especially so i have to remove all of this there we go i remove all these stripes and this is our final after polishing this is our final cross i'm so happy with it it's beautiful and i love it I'm so satisfied. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Thank you.